This episode is called End of the Road. It starts off with Nate showing off the Beast X cannon, which is a combination of the Saber and Blaster, and he also finishes up with Zoe's X bike, which is powered by Morphex, and she plans to use that with many others to save the forest and the animals. Mayor Daniels wants to make new roads since traffic is crazy, but Zoe thinks he would be able to save more money by investing in her X bikes. He was unsure at first, but he agreed to fund them for one week, and if they're successful, the forest will be saved. Devin, Zoe, and Robbie try to spread the word about them, but people aren't interested since they aren't exactly cool. But when Betty and Ben modified theirs, that one was cool, in the eyes of the public. We also find out that the news reporter is also Zoe's mom. Nice. And in the cyber dimension, Scruzzle tells Evox that he needs more Morphex to send out another Gigadrone, and the Blaze and Roxy avatars discuss their plan to get more of it through the X-Bikes, since they carry it. He then creates a Robotron monster called Needletron, the Rangers morph up, and even though they were struggling at first, Zoe defeated the Needletron using the Beast X cannon, and Blaze retreated with its arm, which contained a bit of Morphex, but not enough for Scruzzle's Gigadrone. The Rangers then regroup, and we find out that Nate has a family also, but they work overseas. Blaze then shows back up to gather more of the Morphex with the Needletron's arm. Commander Shaw alerts the Rangers in which they stop him right away, and he attempts to retreat on one of the X-Bikes. And get this, the reason why the Rangers used the bikes instead of their abilities to try and catch Blaze was to make them look cool to the public, and when the episode ended, the X-Bikes turn out being a big hit, and the Rangers save the forest. But before that happens, we see an awesome fight between the Rangers and the Avatars, which resulted in a standoff. Ravi uses his Wheeler Zord to hold off the Giga Drone that Scruzzle sent to Earth after getting the Morphex from Blaze. Devin shows up in his Zord to finish him off, which leads to another virus eliminated. And Betty and Ben have another funny moment. This episode was good. My favorite parts was hearing the explanation for the bikes, Zoe's mom helping out by filming the rangers riding them, the morphing sequence which was basic but still awesome, and the fight between the rangers and the avatars, as well as the dialogue between Zoe and Roxy when they fought. I also like how we're seeing each beast deck zord in action individually, because it builds suspense for the future when we eventually see the beast X megazord. I don't know about you, but I think Power Rangers Beast Morphers is getting better with each week that passes. So with that being said, I'm turning it over to you guys. Did you enjoy the episode and have any favorite parts? And if you were a ranger at Grid Battle Force and you could name your own Zord, what would you call it? Let me know, and until next time, this is John from Mr. Winnie Productions signing out.